Hey Exiles, how we doing? We are back playing some more Saga of Survival. How we going guys? Okay, so PvP update. I wanted to show you a raid yesterday and I wasn't able to because unfortunately everyone still had their guard up and there was no um, way for me to go into someone's base and raid. So apologies on that one. I really wanted to show you. Um, but something has happened guys so I'm the one who got raided so I'm gonna show you guys in a sec what's happened I would have thought I would have loved to have been the first person to draw blood and raid someone but I'm the person who got raided first so yeah that's happened so I'm gonna walk you around and I'll show you where this person had actually um uh, broken in and I'll let you know and I'll show you what they've taken from me so quick disclaimer I actually did not put any traps down or anything like that or um, I didn't use any spawners to help defend my base now you're probably thinking why did I do that in the first place well a I thought about it and b I wanted to see the ramifications if you didn't do it and this is for you guys not for myself and I really wanted to sort of give you guys a bit of an idea if you don't prepare things like this will happen okay so let's get into it I'm going to show you where this person actually broke in so he got in here and made his way in broke down a few of these rush walls which are basically nothing and then proceeded to go through here go through here and manage to break down two stone walls so yeah that's happened so he was able to get into here and do what he needed to do and i actually find this quite interesting and this is something that i really want to speak to the devs about myself the way that this algorithm and this system works for the rating system i've noticed that i've lost things in other chests and areas that this person didn't raid so my understanding, it's, it's a random generated amount of stuff that people can raid from you. So, so that means that regardless of where you've hidden your chest or what rooms you have your chest, you're still going to get raided. So that's basically saying that no chest is safe. So that concerns me and concerns me to the point where you can have a really um uh, locked down base but you can still get other things raided and you can lose things so i'm going to show you what i've lost and i'll point out a few things that are not in this main room but also but in, in areas that this person didn't get into so let's do that so i've lost 209 items yeah 209 items so this is what i've lost and unfortunately it doesn't well at initial glance it doesn't look too bad you can probably think you know what you probably let it go but as i scroll down you will find certain things that i've lost and the amount of tokens it's going to cost me to recover them okay so as i keep scrolling down Certain items have been removed and taken away. So you're going to ask yourself, why didn't I do, um, set up any sort of defense in the first place? Like I said, I just want to show you guys what you could be missing out on. There are some items that I'm going to 100% claim back and use my tokens to get back. So my pyro ring the uh ores i'm gonna grab my my magician staff and a few other little bits and pieces i'm on the fence about trying to retain my armor i'm really not too sure whether or not should i be grabbing that and for what it's worth i don't know i really don't know so yeah this is what's happened so i lost all my cylinders a couple of decent weapons along in between 
Um, but yeah, so it looks like it's a random generated um, uh, steel, basically. So now I'm going to sort of show you a couple of things that are not in my main um, cluster of my area. So let's point that out now. So I'm just going to scroll back and let me see. Okay, so if my screen wants to scroll, I will be able to, you know. Okay, so take for instance, the iron bars, okay? And then let's have a look. And the iron ore, okay? So I've lost a bit of iron and what else is there? Just trying to work out what else I can sort of illustrate my point here. And the clay bars. Okay. So these and my oak. Okay. Oak, oak plank. Right. All right. So hopefully that's enough for you guys to go on. So basically I've got all of my oak and things like that in this chest here. As you can see, this room wasn't touched. And then if I go into this room here, this is where I get everything to be smelted down. There's my raw iron. There's my forged iron. There's my clay bars. So you are really not safe. No matter where you put your chest, this random, this randomized system in how this works and what you guys get to um, steal and loot, I don't know. I'm on the fence about it. So yeah, this is the extent of you. If you do not prepare yourself, you guys are going to lose a whole lot of items. So naturally I'm going to start preparing my base and, um, put everything into, um, uh, shutdown mode. So anyone tries to steal anything off me, then yeah, you, you guys are going to know about it. Okay. So not going to tell you where I'm putting the traps because that's not what we're going to do here, but I just wanted you guys to check it out and see the far extent of that damage to what's been dealt to me. So, but um, all is not lost because I do have a revenge raid and we're going to do that today. I don't know what's going to be at this person's base. I don't know what type of um, defense he or she has. I honestly don't care. I would want to raid this person so bad and I want to take as much items and things like that as possible. So we are going to do that today and we're going to check that out. So this is, this will be my first raid. Unfortunately, it is a re revenge raid. Not too happy about that, but hopefully um, when I do get this guy, I'm going to hit him where it basically hurts. So um, I think I've got my horse with me. Yes, I do. So it is this fella here. He hasn't been attacked yet. I'll lose my shelter protection if I go ahead and do this. So it is what it is. I've already purchased some packs of defense, so that's fine. I'm going to go ahead and do what I need to do. But yeah, I want to take you down. All right, so let's run over. Hopefully there he is. Okay. This is my first time raiding, so I don't know what to expect. I don't know what traps this person has laid. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a quick scan of the base. I think that's probably a good way of doing things. Looks like he's got some clay walls. Whoop, no, 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 no. Definitely don't want to do that. So he's pretty much filtered his base out quite extensively. And that's interesting. Okay. I don't know if they're, um, if they're baited chests or not. Whoops. But, okay. Okay, I actually don't like that. If I had to, you know, if I had to, you know, point something out or critique this update, it'd be the, f the, the fact in the case that you can say that um, your enemies, well, sorry, your person that you're raiding their chests. Yeah, I honestly don't like that. I mean, this person's gone to a great extent to fill out his base, but, oops, that's ridiculous. I mean, why should, you know, people see 
where all of your stuff could be. So, yeah. Anyway, I'm going to jump off my horse. And we're going to get to raiding. So, what happens if I do that? Okay, he does nothing. That's fine. So I bought one of these guys, and we, we're just going to take down the wall. All right, so we're going to... Oh, okay. Well, he's got a few traps. That's fine. He's still got clay walls. That's fine. And what's in here? So can you actually open these chests? Okay, I didn't want to do that. Can I? Okay. So you can actually delete. Okay, interesting. So I'm going to go into the middle of this guy's base. So he's got something there. And that's towards the end here. Okay, so he's got a wooden wall now. Let's just break this down. And let's see what this person has. Oh, okay. And let's take that. So, all right. So I'm just going to do pretty much a full movement. I'm going to try and go through all the rooms and then I'm just going to see what I feel that I should be taking. Ooh, shelter guard. Hello. What I should have done is I should have actually um, grabbed a better weapon. It should be all right. Cool. Yeah, he's got very basic items anyway. Okay, so... Yeah, that's, that's a thing. Well, I did bring that. I don't think I'm going to need that. So, so there his items here, all of his chests here. Well, thankfully they're not named because that would be completely silly, but I'm still really disappointed about what, how this is actually, yeah. The fact that you can see all the, all the chests, you know, on the outside before you actually move in. Yeah, I don't think I'm a, I'm a big fan of that, to be honest, guys. Just want to see what this opens me up to. And this is just open area. Okay. Alright, so... Um, I'm going to go into here. Uh, see what is over here. Oop. Okay, so that's just a little trap room there to get you over there. I'm not too sure what he's done there. Can you, and you can't even, can you? No, you can't. Okay. What does that mean? Stolen chest in your store bag, remove an existing item in your saddle bag. Okay. So I'm going to make a decision and yeah, so that's going to happen soon. I'm just going to open up everything and just see. Okay. So that looks like it would be his salvageable area. I doubt that there's going to be anything interesting in here to be honest. Oh, hello. And I don't know why you're attacking that, but okay. Uh, well, that at least exposes that. Hmm. Okay. Well, let's just open this up here. Oop. Uh, no, take out the palisade. There we go. And no, I'm more interested in this part. There we go. Okay. So it looks like all these are neatly set up. I don't know what this is going to entail, but all right. Uh, stolen chest cannot be stored. Okay. Let us, I don't know about this. I'm going to destroy that. I honestly don't know what I'm going to do with this. 
So I'm going to take this one in the corner. Oops. Okay, so that means I need to. Okay, so that's one chest there. And can I? Oh, okay. So you can't actually put two there. That's really annoying. Okay. I don't know whether or not should I look at anything through here. To be honest, I'm really interested in that. Maybe the one in the center. Yeah. So that looks like the more central location of his area. So, yeah, okay. So there's nothing else that you guys can take. Okay, yep, and store it in your saddle bag. Okay. So this is all that I can take. I can't take anything else. Hmm. Okay, so... Can't do any of these. No, okay. So I'm guessing that's all that you can really do. Leaving the shelter will end the attack. Proceed. Well, I can't take anything else, so I'm going to have to. Okay, so I'm back at home. The raid's done. Honestly, I don't feel really confident about this, guys. You guys need to let me know in the comments, you know, how this all works, because I'm really not... Oh, wow, there's a lot of, um, that's a, that's a lot of, um, uh, sapphires there. I'm not going to do that. Okay. So, basically, now that I've been raided, I mean, I honestly need to, yeah, think about what I need to do to prepare before the next attack. There we go. So basically I've got 11 hours before I can see what's inside. And right now, if I need to save anything, I'm going to have to start doing that now. Um, so I don't know about you, but I want to, wow. Okay. Yeah, that is absolutely crazy. Yeah, okay. So each unit costs that amount of tokens. So if you've got dub, like multiple stacks of things, like say this, for example, it's going to cost me 450 tokens. Yeah, okay. Um, devs, if you're watching, I think there's going to have to be some changes to this. I wanted to take that because I'm not going to say no to that or this. But by the end of this, I'm not going to have any tokens. I mean, I, I guess this is going to happen in, you know, in some sort of sense that there's going to be an element here that you need to pay, I guess. Um, and that's essentially going to be, you know, pay to play, which is something I'm not too keen on right now. But as you can see, I just had 5,000 tokens and just little things that I've just picked up. I've already you know, pretty much sacrificed everything. And I don't know what else to pick. I honestly don't know what else to take. Um, definitely really concerning, guys. I mean, you've got six days to try and recover these things. But by the time you get all these tokens, I don't know if it's going to be any anything of any sort of beneficiary to you guys. I mean, again, this is something that you guys really need to consider. <coughs> Excuse me. I guess the plus side, it actually goes back into your vault, which I don't think that's a bad thing. I think that's probably a really good move. 
um, that the devs have actually done it that way, rather than going, say, going into your actual inventory, uh, sorry, inventory, and then you have to, um, you know, put them back in your chest and things like that. And then again, you have that threat of losing items. I think that's probably a good move. What I think they should do is that we probably need to get a secret room or a chest or something that we can have like a like a trap door if you will and we can pop that somewhere in our base where it cannot be seen and obviously immune to any sort of attack so maybe you know using you know this amount of slots for a chest or like a secret trap room and then you put whatever you want in there or maybe the size of a trunk maybe i think that's fair the size of a trunk and then you put your most valuable items in there so you can't get raided and you can't um, lose those items. I think something like that would probably need to hap you know, have to happen at some point. Uh, devs, if you're watching, I think this is probably something that you probably want to look at and maybe consider. I'll probably you know, make my voice known about that and what I think, you know, probably in the Discord server. But that's just my opinion on it. Um, but that is an insane amount of um, items that I lost in the first place. So, I mean, when you look at it, you got to be careful with what you're doing. Um, so, yeah, guys, um, let me know what you think down in the comments section down below. Uh, Revenge Raided, first ever raid. Um, yeah, very interesting. So, yeah, I don't know what else to say. I mean, I'll leave it to you guys. Let me know what you guys think about this down in the comments section down below. Um, if you guys want to continue to see me raid, um, I'll see what, what I'll do with that. Um, I might in fact uh, maybe try and hold myself out if I get raided the next time I probably want to maybe switch off raiding potentially I think I'm gonna have to start building my base up and Putting more traps and implement that until I get to a point where I can um, You know defend myself, you know consistently. I think that's gonna have to happen. So But yeah like the video guys make sure you hit the subscribe button notification bell if you guys are new to my channel if you don't want to miss out on any future videos, including rating and everything like that, but we'll see how we go. This is just, you know, early stages. So anyway, I'll leave it here for today and I'll catch you next time.